<laughs> Good day and welcome to Fierce to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. So obviously I've been gone for about a month in this long form content. Um, I unfortunately had some issues with my laptop that I took with me where I could not get any sound on it to work at all. That was including my headset, game audio, absolutely nothing worked. Now I'm back from my work trip and hopefully I can get content rolling again. And I'm very excited to play this game, another game by Rail. I've played all three of the other ones and they were absolutely a blast. This one looks phenomenal as well. That being said, let's go ahead, jump on in, see how she is. Here's to Fathom Episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. God, this text is moving fast. Hey, I noticed you were uh, requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTube play, Fears of Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me progress my me or process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Ooh. What, tell us what happened to you. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. The RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This time, I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though, since I lived out of my RV and I liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It's about a two-hour drive. Not too far away. Pretty, pretty doable. Oh. Oh, okay, we're starting. Oh, I'm driving again. Ooh. Ooh. Get that engine checked out, bro. Uh, Roseburg. Oh. Don't, don't, got. Yeah, don't text and drive. Hold up. Uh. Oh, there's a lot. Just, just normal life stuff. Nothing too crazy in there. And, uh, talking with the new manager. I lived a very solitary life. This looks phenomenal already. Wow. It helps quiet my mind. Keep the memories at bay. This music is a vibe. It's, it said in the beginning none of this is copyrighted, so hopefully that's true. Oh, that's a big old semi coming down the road. What's up, bro? Oh. I've always loved the great outdoors. Me too, man. Outdoors are awesome to go to. It really helps calm the mind. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. Yeah, I can feel that. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Mood, yeah. Oh, three, three new messages. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I remember there's a diner while passing Roseburg. They're the best burgers in town. You have to try them. I can really use a good meal. Okay, yeah, let's go get some burgers. Oh, I'm reversing. Sorry, uh, let's go. Dang, this is a great song for not being copyrighted. Uh, something's coming up ahead. Oh, farmland? Got some farmland. Gas station? Oh, and the diner. That's our main goal. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Oh, good. I wasn't very proud of my driving. Yeah, me neither. Mm-hmm. Y'all didn't see that, right? Let's not, let's not talk about it. We're gonna pack it, park in the back corner. Try not to be an asshole. Hopefully uh, the owner of that car didn't see me. Oh, this is pretty big. Oh, what's this? Presidential cliffhanger awaits Flor- Oh, it's always Florida, man. Why is it always gonna be Florida? This is a pretty stellar RV. Hell yeah, bro. Ooh, I am- I am not in that spot at all. 
Oh, I can run a little bit. So let's go ahead and get inside the diner, get our, our burger going. Uh, can I talk to this guy? Hey, stranger. Those are, that's very squelchy. How's that burger? Little piece of heaven. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. Cool, bro. You new around here? I'm a new staffer at Iron Bark. You must have heard the news then. Well, what news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. Of course they don't know. Why would they know? The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature, you say? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or a goat man. People say there's something like that living in that forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. Alrighty, I got some some juicy lo Oh, stop squelching in my ear. Ugh. Got some lore going. Okay, possibly a Bigfoot-esque creature. I'm game. Alright. Oh, that is... What's up, sweetheart? Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you. I like... I want the seat. Oh, wait. I have to... Oh, I have to sit at the booth. Okay. Uh... Oh, I get up? I haven't ordered anything. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. I can zoom. Uh, cheeseburger, grilled cheese sandwich, meatball sub, fries... Oh. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Oh, yeah, I am. Uh, so what can I get you? Ooh, grilled cheese sandwich sounds pretty fire. Meatball... Mm, ooh. Comes with the nugs. Nah, give me that cheeseburger. Uh-huh. Our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Uh, I feel like I need a coffee. Let me get a coffee. Better for anything else? That'll be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Okay. What? I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Okay. Why? Oh, well, everyone has their own habits, I guess. I can't really judge. Oh, mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, yep, staying in that toilet bowl. Don't know what's wrong with that urine. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, all in. Okay. Can I stop? Thank you. Wash your hands. Don't be a filthy animal. Mm-hmm. Cool. Ready to go. That's a... What's, uh... What's the shuffle, bud? Huh. Guess we're not gonna talk about the shovel. That's fine, that's fine. Maybe he's a gardener? But why'd you bring the shuffle in with you? Oh, is this my burger coming out? Hell yeah, I'm hungry. Let's get into that food, baby. The music's really loud, I'm not gonna lie. It kinda hurts the ears a little bit. Hi, Barbara. Thank you. Why? Why is it so squelchy? Hmm. Oh, it's, oh, it's gonna do it again. Mmm. You didn't even use any, any of the ketchup. Ugh. They look like I think my sister. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is good. Yep. Chug down that coffee. God, this man is going at it. Told you. It reminds me, you should send me that casserole recipe. You might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine. Maybe. Yeah, Barbara, can I, uh, oh. Oh, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit? Okay. Thanks, Kayla. 
Uh, did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Uh, would you like to have anything else, or should I get you the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you, dear. This music is going hard in the jukebox. Um, can I do anything else or just gotta wait for my check? I think I just gotta wait. Can, can you walk, walk a little, little faster? A little faster, come on. Please, please, speed is key. I know it's an, a small diner, but. Uh, here's the check. Your total is 6 at 0.6. 50% tip? Nah, 15, man. Jesus. Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. Thank you. First of all, rude not to tip. Second of all, you gotta go above and beyond for a 50% tip. Like, when I was a server, my best tip, I think, was a 40% tip. So, like, it's it's rough, man. That's, that's insane. If anyone has given a 50% tip out there, please let me know down in the comments why, because that is wild. I closed that door. I know for a fact I closed that door when I walked away. Who's in my who's in my camper? Bathroom door is strangely jammed. Someone's in your bathroom, dude. I told you I closed that door. Oh, you idiot. Uh, why am I? Put it back down. <sighs> yep. Someone definitely. Um, can I drive yet? Okay, there we go. And go, 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 go. Don't hit the car, don't hit the car, don't hit the car. Oh, we're good. Whew. I'm assuming I gotta go to the right. It's a big old RV, though. Let's get on the road. I changed the... Oh. I'm gonna just turn it straight off. That's cool. We should do that earlier when it was blaring in my ears. 8.02 p.m. Ooh, that's some calm music going. Huh? Want to include the location of the park. Where is it? But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in those woods. What am I gonna see in these woods? Oh, no, no, no. A little bump, a little bump. Oh, I'm parking in front. They can't stop me. Did I just see something to my left? Is this where I'm supposed to park? I, 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 I imagine it's close enough, man. This door's still jammed? Of course it is, because someone's in there. No one's going to stop me from parking there. I, I am the law now. Uh, boss? Oh my... <laughs> Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of who? <laughs> May Lord have mercy. What are you? Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not camping. I'm the new transfer for fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Hold a gun on me that quick, man? Jesus. Relax. Holy hell. I didn't even catch your goddamn name. Am I good? Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But, here are your keys. Uh, where's... Let me open the trail gate for you. Oh, oh I'm going out there. Alright, well, let me let me go and get my RV. Wonder, wonder which RV it is. I can make that. I can make that. Wait, is he coming to talk to me? He might be coming to talk to me. Uh, since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your look. Oh, I'm hiking. 
Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Get off. I'm just gonna drive the RV out there. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know how you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. Uh, he'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Yeah. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous wood that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. Got it. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Uh, let me grab my bag. I'm sure no one's gonna tell me that. Fine. Oh, I really wish I could drive out there. Okay. Oh, there's the three missing kids. Uh, Brit... Uh, Brittany Spears, Hugh Jasmine, and Sanita Williams. <sighs> okay. Okay, where the hell am I going? Uh, I'm just gonna walk. Okay. Hello? I, I hear someone else or something else walking already. Oh, that's not good. That's creepy as shit. Eleven thirty-two. It took me three hours to hike out there. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Tower eleven. I hiked for three hours. How far away was this goddamn tower? Yes, run. I'm uh, run. Not. Not fond of. I am hearing all sorts of noise around me. That's not good. What's the sign say? Iron Bark Tower 11, Lacey Trail, Gold Creek Trail. Okay, that's where I came from. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. I I don't think anyone thinks that. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Again, no one thinks it is for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. And you can have a fondness of the outdoor. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Doesn't mean you want to live out here that long, bro. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Nope. Probably Tower 12 over there. Okay. Ooh. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Well, I wonder why, bud. I was following my new home. For the next few months. That's good enough. God, they left this a uh, mess. Uh, all lookouts must follow these rules while occupying. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. So we no guests in the lookout. System password is Iron Barked. Oh, God, that is such a horrible password. If you will, the generator routinely update the reporting self routinely. Okay, cool. No video games. Hold up. Ah, no, 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 no. That's not how that's going to work. All right, he said, get the weather. Uh huh? Think, think I'm getting the weather? I think. Oh! Cool, I can open up all my windows and let nature take hold of me. Nice. All the views means everyone can look at me and I can look at them. No privacy in here. Not a single ounce. Where am I supposed to bathe? I don't see a place to bathe in here. Oh. Oh, I didn't even use that. God damn it. I am so stupid. Oh my god. Wind at 20 knots. I don't know how fast that actually is. I don't I don't know what a knot is. Put you down. Uh, right there. There should be good. Um, okay. Log on the computer. Uh, radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. I, I light. Oh, hold up, hold up. That light.
light on. And the generator on downstairs. Hold on. We got to turn the generator on at first. God, I knew it. Uh, let me run all the way back down. God damn it. Ooh, firefly. I see something in the woods. Oh, is that like my outhouse? And upsy daisy. What are you? What is this? They're like a backup location? Oh, binoculars. I'll take those. Flashlight matches. Okay, so this is just extra equipment and bear spray. I gotta remember that bear spray. Huh. Oh, wait. Is that 12 over there? I don't know if that close. Okay. Back up we go. C12. Oh. Oh, I can see very far out there. Oh, it resets every time. That's good. Okay, so I got, I think, everything in here, and there's extras downstairs, but that was supposed to be. Okay. We need static. Not tuned? Okay. Are on? Uh huh. Rainbow 98. Oh, God. In we go. Um, console. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. How can I make your day better? How can I make your day better? Smiley. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. Is that? You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Is that Jacksepticeye? Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected that, as one of our that fire is a lookout observers. Of a this is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to that know like all criminal. changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire, which could lead to a wildfire. Well, we just do that. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. 
Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. That top of the morning is the achievement. Yeah, that is definitely Jacksepticeye. That's a nice little call out right there. Okay. Um, is that how I do this? Service reporting now? Ah. Uh, going to say our service reporting software's up. Uh. New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Uh, I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Who's this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Nice. Okay, Connor. How you doing, bud? Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Cool, cool. Anyway, Just looking for a change. Be, be, be courteous, all right? I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired, man. Fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got yeah, it. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Uh, let me start the report though. Wind speed was twenty. Uh oh, god. There's a lot. Hold up. Let me go get all this done. Why are my lights not on? There we go. I just didn't turn them on because I'm stupid. Sure there. Um, uh, where is my thermometer? Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. I was working on it. There, there's no wood in there, is there? Son of a biscuit. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Uh, Howdy? Connor's on the real. Oh. What do you want, Connor? Uh, there's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. Oh. Good for her. You better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gotcha, gotcha. Only must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Go. Cool. I I hate that it didn't just let me go down and get the wood. All right, let's go. I would say this is partially cloudy. Not fully cloudy though. Uh, speed is key. Go 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 go. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, wood for days, man. I, I ain't never run out of wood. Go, 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 go. I don't know if only three pieces is enough to get through a night, but it's definitely a start, that's for sure. Oh god, I am I am so fast right now, man. Hello? I swear to god I heard a cough. I really hope this is just gonna be someone stalking me. Nothing like else besides that, because I can deal with stalkers. Like I have an axe or something. Cool. Uh, bonk. Oh, that was me. Hello? Oh, she's going. Ah, I see it. I see the smell. Good. No. I was getting to that, Connor. Did you report for the night yet? No, let me get to it. Better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Okay. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm working on it. Um. What is this? Okay, I got a compass. But where is my thermometer? I don't know where the thermometer. Oh my god, I'm blind. It, 44.5. Got it. Dang, that is gold. It's zero. Bye. Uh, I don't remember my name. What is my goddamn name? Uh, ooh. Jack Nelson.
sure if I had put the right weather condition. I guess it's clear then. Okay. Rude. Oh, I can see everyone else's now. You copy, new guy? Uh, Tower 11, copy. I think I'm going to sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Night, right, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Cool. Uh, I guess I can go to sleep now after, you know, fumbling around for the whole day. I always close the boards. That's. Oh, I opened all of them. God damn it. Ah. All right. Bedtime. 3.26 a.m. Oh, god dang it. What? Huh? I need your help. I heard I need your help. I know I heard I need your help. I have to pee. Connor? I definitely heard I need your help. Okay. Go pee. On my first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. I think oh my god, I can pee off the cabin. Or <laughs> being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. Hmm. Yep, just... Someone is standing right there. Right, right above the road. Oh! That is creepy. Can I, can I look back out? Where'd he go? Oh, yeah, he's right there. Oh, I see you, you creeper. Don't, don't acknowledge that, Jack. That's fine. But someone is definitely standing right there. Oh, that's... Oh, it's not good. <laughs> he definitely looked at my penis. He definitely looked at it. Night two. Oh, just you and the wind and the time just melts away. Ah. Uh, nothing like the sunset at night, you know? Just taking in the atmosphere. The birds are flying around. Oh, I can take a photo. Hell yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Got the birds in there and everything. Ah, serene, beautiful, peaceful. Every person's dream right here. We get, we get some, yeah. Oh, my stalker's gone. That's good. What, what was I on? Was I on the railing? Oh, I was on the railing. Hell yeah. All right. New guy, you copy? Yeah, what's up, Connor? This is Connor from Tower 12. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. <sighs> I was enjoying my peaceful Tower coffee. 11. You copy? Copy that, Connor, what's up? Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Huh? You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. Let me have a look. <sighs> All right. Uh, the smoke was white, indicative of a campfire. Hmm. Yep. I need you to confirm. Do you see that smoke up north? I, I'm coming, I'm coming. Didn't know my door is north. You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It appears to be in the Lacey Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Ooh, go get him, Connor. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Oh. Those dirty bastards. Fire risks are high this season. Mmm. Mind checking it out? Uh. Yeah. Um. Do you have any other no details? Information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay, head north. I'll report back on it. Out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Okay. Over and out. Definitely gonna carry the bear spray. That's for sure. Got my flashlight. And my bear spray. Because I feel like it's going to get dark very quickly. Alright. I swear to God, if I have to use this bear spray immediately, I am going to be so salty. Alright, um. 
Yep, utility shed. Uh, I think Lacey Trail was back here and then to the left, I think. Pretty sure I gotta go this way. Yep, Lacey Trail. Three miles! Oh god, good thing I got my, my mace, my bear spray. It's gonna be a long ass walk. Uh, it, oh my god, it took me that long to walk there. I followed the trail that led me to that smoke. And? Oh, whoa, 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 I'm coming, bro. Oh, I, I love Jen, no camping violators will be sighted. Uh. Hello? No, no, no. Uh. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care right now. Hello? Step out here. Show yourself. Someone definitely screamed though. Kayak. Huh. What the hell? Oh, I'm I'm just spraying the bear spray. Huh. I had to put it out. What, what am I putting out with? Uh huh. What am I putting it out with, bro? Oh. I'm stupid. That makes sense to grab the, the bucket. Hey, Lara. Oh, I thought that tree jumped at me. I was ready to throw hands. I was about to say, it should I'm seeing things, man. Never mind, I guess that was enough. Anyone back over here? Or be honest, I was closed. Huh. Do I, do I just go back now? That's weird. Huh. Hey, hey. <sighs> okay. Getting some heebie jeebies. We're cool. We're cool. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think that what might have happened. Pretty sure someone died. Just saying, you don't hear screams like that and then no one dies. Uh, but let's get back to our cabin and get nice and safe, because I, I am I don't want to get got, you know? Gotta survive at all costs for myself. Is my cabin gonna be or my tower gonna be messed with? You didn't mess with my tower, did you? This is a sacred thing here, you know. You don't mess with someone else's tower. Uh, where are we? I had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. All right. I hear a whistling. Oh, that is... That's not it, bro. Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Uh, has this happened before a lot? It's the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Bench is screaming. 
black boxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. No, it was a bro, man. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids are missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. That whistling is creeping me the hell out. I heard the stories. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Huh. Sometimes I only wish they were true. Why? Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Glad to be a service. Keep me updated. Over and out. Over and out. Alright, let me let me get my report ready for the night. Nope, whistling. Whistling is still there, okay. And we're sitting at 17 knots. Uh, what's the weather like? Definitely cloudy. If that's not cloudy, I don't know what it is. Okay, what does Kayla want? Oh. That sucks. Alright, let's let's get my report in. Uh oh, I didn't even look at the temperature. Crap. Cloudy. Zero. Alright, what is the temperature? 38.5. Oh, I take my name out. Go. Pour it in. Oh, I need to start the fire. Hold up. Down we go. I'm going to throw hands if someone's down here. Just saying, just saying, they're gonna get the clickety clock, globity glop. Sounds like they're right frickin' there. I'm gonna go investigate. Oh, I can't go investigate, of course not. God, they sound so frickin' close. <gasps> no, 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 they're walking this way. No. No, hell no. Can I see him? Can I see him? Go, run, run, run up the stairs. Don't even look back, I don't care. Go, 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 go. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. Lock it. Oh. Get out. Mm -hmm. Close all the doors. Definitely don't want this person creeping on me. Oh, can I see him? Can I see him? No, no. Hmm. I'm, I am not enjoying the comfort of the woods right now. There is no comfort in these woods. Just pain and suffering, apparently. My suffering, mostly. Close. Uh, close you. Turn off my lights. And let's go to bed. Oh, I need to. Cook food, that makes sense. Uh no? What cook food? When I was starving. Whoa. Uh I had to get all the ingredients. Oh my god, really? Um uncooked pasta, marinara sauce. Pasta. Do I have marinara sauce? Uh taste tomatoes. Nice tomatoes. Oh, god damn it. Eh. Oh, get your own in there. That's... Eh. Eh. It's cool. It's in there. Cool. New guy. There? Yeah, what's up? New guy. Yeah, bro, give me more than a second to respond. 
Uh, what is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Oh, what do they say? Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's relieving. Hope they can track them down and give them a piece of their mind. Yes. Let justice be served. Go your what? I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. All right, bud. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thanks, Connor. Appreciate it. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Bye, Connor. Be friendly to your homies. Well, not homies, but you know, co-workers at this point, I guess. Just remember the smell of the fresh sizzling cheese. Uh, eat. I like to eat in bed. Okay, that's... <laughs> oh, the squelching noises, man. Why do these games always have such squelching noises? <sighs> well, good thing I closed all my blinds already, so I can't see if anything's uh, creeping on me. Wait, wait. I swear to God, I heard footsteps for a second there. I was already full. Okay, cool. Um, fridge or oven? Yep, oh, no, no, I didn't mean to grab the cola. Fuck. It's all in there. Alright. Lights out. No one creeping through the, the slits. Down to sleep. I've been like sleeping on a full stomach, you know? Really helps you just real quick and easy. 2.27 a.m. Huh? <gasps> I was woken by the feeling that's caused my eyes to drift open. No, there was something very strange about the night. Where is it? What the hell are you? Hey! Huh? Oh God! I didn't think it would let me actually do that. <laughs> Oh, I died so quick. Oh, please don't maybe start over. So I tried mace on him and it didn't work. Um, what you doing there, bud? Are you starting a fire? What are you? I, I can't see what he's doing. Can I report on the radio? Oh, that's not creepy at all. I don't know what the, to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Okay, now I can contact him, but I'm keeping this bear spray in hand while I'm talking to him. All right, do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. You there? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's some something eerie about this, or something outside my door. Mention the school. Tell you what, really, it's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I mean, he like murdered me, tired. and I came back. Uh, I think these think these are kids messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. You watch too many horror movies. Uh. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? He's still there, though. I we definitely can. We definitely can. Thanks. Connor didn't make any sense. But there wasn't much else I could do, and I don't have a lock on this door. I could hide? Woo! Oh, that actually does pick up my mic. Oh, crap. Well, that's good to know that's a place to hide in the future. Hopefully, I don't have to use that. 
I'm definitely gonna have to use it. Son of a bitch. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if it, uh, Blast Night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. Something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Whoa. I occupy most of my days either with a sample maintenance in and around the tower. Or simple maintenance. Or by scanning the densities of trees all around me. Why are your gog- My paranoia for these woods only grew last night, which led me to my extra vigilant moving forward. Why are these so dirty, bro? Am I supposed to see something in the woods? Thank you. I didn't realize that was an option when I was messing with them. God, Connor, why did you let these get so filthy, bro? There we go. Uh... Hello? That can't be a good thing. Player to the west? I closed my door myself. Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help. Please, someone answer. Hey, I'm coming, bro. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Uh, I hear you loud and clear. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost. Take a deep breath. Okay, okay. What's the situation? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. A and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. Uh what equipment do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and and some of my camping equipment. Can you describe your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Uh, everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Uh, do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Okay. Which you're facing I'm right walking now. towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Okay, so you're going the opposite way of me, because he was to my west. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Uh, Can you help let me? Let me see my map and get back to you. Oh, I was stuck there for a second. Oh. What the hell? I'm not scanned. Oh god. What is going on here? Uh, hello? Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. Uh, hold on, bro. There's the trail map. Tower 11, West. Uh, he needs to go left. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember left. if I, ha, I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I think he's left. I hope it's left or else I'm wrong. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Uh, making decisions in the dark can be challenging. What do you mean? I hear you. I hear your whistles. I'm in my tower right now. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I was assisting a lost. Uh, I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to? Uh, I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the god be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Take supplies. Be a baby, man. 
Wait. What were you doing there? Or, what were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I, I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Uh, not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been uh, hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Mention the skull. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyway, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for supplies. Yep. Alright, is this guy alive still? Oh, he's dead. 55.1. Wait, let me, let me get the wind tool. That guy killed that guy. Or he just was meant to die. 27, clear. Alright. Uh, eh. Uh, 0.7. 27. Clear. One. Uh, submit. Oh, then look. Temperature? It's a temperature. Yeah, I get a temperature for sure. 55.1. Damn it. It was definitely 27. Um, loud? What do you. Uh, rain? Windy? Okay. Time to make dinner, I guess, or? What, what am I doing now? Getting ready for bed? Doing my uh, wood for the night and uh, come right back up. Or I'm gonna go eat first. What am I eating? Ah, leftovers. Am I not heating it up? Am I eating it cold? Let me cook it then. Oh, microwave. I'm stupid. A 420, nice. What are my supplies? I don't even know what to do these. Yep, that's perks. Okay. It is 8.35. Hmm. All right. Let's eat my food. Hopefully nothing else crazy happens tonight, because that'd be unfortunate. My windows are all open. Can't ignore the demons this time. They come up from right there. Anything? Think, think we're good? All right? No, no demons tonight. Now can I go to bed? Up, oh, yep. Thought so. Of course it would now. Needy ass game. Let me go get my wood. Gave me a heart attack. I understand. Loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. 
You must ensure that the right message reached the right places, wouldn't you agree? Right, we really rely on that information. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plan. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleaning or cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. Uh, uh, I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember. What am I remembering? Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. You're lucky I didn't have the bear spray in my hand. That guy gave me the creepiest vibes. I wonder why! Oh my god. I, I legit had a heart attack with that guy. Mm-hmm. All over my entire cabin. Uh, that works. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. Huh? New guy. You there? I'm <laughs> Let me get a second of break now. here. Loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Uh, ran the sauce downstairs. I ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. It's about yesterday. What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? This radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. Its repair costs were deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. Do you I, I'm not sure, man. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. I don't think he cares. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. I got it. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. Yeah, me too. Tower 12, signing off. All right, over now. I thought someone was standing there. I was like, about to say, what the hell? Okay, close all of my shits. You can't reach out for me. Oh my god. This, I'm not ready for this right now, man. This may be not the best game to jump back into after a month off, because my heart is pounding. Okay. Better have locked that door, Connor. Or Jack, sorry. <sighs> my unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Oh, what do you mean that would soon change? Two nights later, oh, I don't want it. 9.18 p.m. Why is there a hide option now? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Oh, cool. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Cool. No more snoopers, I guess. Uh, how do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology, it's not really much. It's a computer, bro. Dare I say it? These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Probably, yeah. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, console. Uh, okay then. Cool. I try to have power. Hello? Oh, of course it's out. This is a torrential downpour. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't need the gas, I guess. I really had to get, I was getting cold and I had to pee. Yep, yep, yep. Why, why is there a sound bar? I don't like that there's a sound bar. Mm hmm. Run, run, run. I hear something. Why did it give me, why did it stress me out like that? Was something going on that I didn't notice? Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. God damn it. We got another one. Oh? I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to copy. I thought... I thought he wasn't in. Jack, you copy. Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. What? It appears to be in your sector. Do you see the campsite from your end? <sighs> Where the motherfucker is he? Huh? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update uh, me tomorrow uh, morning. So... I'm gonna get some rest. Oh, you dick. What the... Uh... Go in there, bro. Well, oh, that made sense at the time. Was to take evidence of it. Oh my God, you stick bastard! Air spray. Oh, I can take a photo from here. Good. Oh. <gasps> no, no. Holy fucking shit.
get up? Fuck. I think I have to get up. Go, 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 Oh, son of a bitch. Run, 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 run. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. No! What is the point of the bear spray? What is the point of the bear spray? Um, porta potty, porta potty, porta potty. Go to the porta potty. Run, 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 run. Don't stop, don't stop. Sprint, Jack, sprint, Jack. You're faster than this, Jack. You know this land. This is your house. Run, run, get the hell out of there. Just don't, don't stop, don't stop. Go, 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 go. Oh, I swear to God, if this is the wrong answer, I have to restart again after this. I'm gonna be pissed. Oh. Oh, of course it's locked. No, no! No, 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 no! Run, Jack, run, Jack! Oh, uh, where's my RV? Where's my- Get to the RV! Get to the RV! Get to the RV! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Go drive, Jack! Drive, Jack! As Vanlin kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger's cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in the alert to THQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir-crazy out there, Mitch answered. Don't you dare blame this on me. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation in the area. But of course, they met with no sign of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as product of isolation. To stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family, though, I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, Survivor survived through the fourth episode. Oh, that was freaking stressful. Hey, it was Jack. Nice. Um... That was a really good one. I really enjoyed that. I don't know if it has any other endings. Um, I honestly don't think I want to try to find any others if there are, because that felt like the good ending to me. That felt like the best option to me. So hopefully, uh, if there is any other endings, you guys find someone that plays them, or you can let me know I need to go back and play it and I will get that ending for you. I had a lot of fun with this game. As always, Rail definitely delivered. And I can't wait till episode 5 comes out. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. Like I said, I've been out for a month now. And I feel a little rusty, but I felt good recording this for you guys. So, if you enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It does mean a lot to me and the channel. And I hope you all have a lovely day.